Good morning. Father Anait Bernard and I'm Harry are very proud to bring to you a daily gospel reflection. Thank you for joining us. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Anthony Mary Janelli. He was born in 1789 into a middle-class family living near Genoa in north of Italy. As a child, people were often struck by his gentle nature. When he came of age, the lady who owned the farm his family lived on became his generous benefactress and financed his schooling and entry into the ecclesiastical seminary in Genoa. In 1812, when he was 23 years old, he was granted special dispensation to be ordained as a priest. Two years before the required canonical age, he was canonized in 1951 by Pope Pius XII. Today's first reading from Second Corinthians. So our hope for you is secure in the knowledge that you share the encouragement we receive. Today's gospel, according to Matthew, rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. Today's reflection: constantly honoring our saints. The history professor told his students about Saint Anthony Mary, that he was ordained a bishop in 1838, and appointed to the diocese of Bobbio, where he led his flock by his extraordinary example of virtue, prudence, and firm government. He organized the Society of Saint Raphael and Society of Saint Dorothea to instruct the faithful in his diocese. and restored devotion to St Columbus in his diocese. He conducted two synods and was constantly on the road from parish to parish visiting his flock. He ended that before his death from fever in 1846 at the age of 57 he founded three religious orders, two for men and one for women. He founded missionaries of St Alphonsus and the oblates of St Alphonsus were established in 1827. but sadly both lasted only for 20 years do we venerate our saints today let us pray o oh god you have promised a great reward for all those who suffer because of their belief in you lord you continue to be their strength we ask this in jesus name amen may god bless you and your families and i'll see you tomorrow have a wonderful day